in this video I will quickly show you how I got the hard pin for port forwarding to work it took a while I've been uh, playing with this for quite a while and I couldn't get it to work apparently there was a glitch in the uh, firmware and they released a couple updates uh, including the hard pin uh, fix uh, so I finally got it to work uh, hard pin uh, for port forwarding uh, helps you to leave your router uh, from local LAN and come back uh, to the uh, local LAN server so if you want to test the connection from outside using public IP uh, let's say you have a web server like in my case on port 8888 um, then uh, if I wanted to see if I can access it from outside I would enter the HTTP column forward slash forward slash the public IP column 8888 and uh, that public uh, should allow me to open the web page now I was not able to do that before finally uh, after a few upgrades uh, they released some fixes so um, currently I'm able to actually log out uh, to a public IP and come back uh, to my web server on my local LAN uh, local LAN uh, directly works. I'm not sure why is this UISPR, uh, you know, feature that we, it's removed by default. Um, the uh, Harpin, uh, all other routers from uh, Ubiquiti, uh, they come pre-installed, so I'm surprised that they actually don't have that working out of the box. But I'll show you um, a reference page. Uh, it's actually uh, on a Ubiquiti website, which I will also include in the description. And uh, this is how you can follow this instruction. Some of these steps are pretty confusing. Uh, for example, um, if I scroll down to port forwarding, uh, they're saying this is the uh, LAN host. This is the inbound, which has never been used. My inbound in interface is actually ETH0. Uh, by default, that's you know what it is. I don't know why they have port 9. Um, and in the example, as you can see, um, I used over here inbound ETH0. Um, I don't enter any of these addresses. I don't know what kind of addresses are these. Um, uh, however, if you host destination server has a static IP, you should enter that in here. So in this example is 192.168.1.231, and that's what they have that stated uh, LAN host right here. I'm not sure why they um, have it uh, in the instructions so confusing, because this is not even uh, anywhere in uh, in the screenshots, uh, as well as in the uh, 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 filter forward. I, I don't see that IP anywhere, so I don't know why they entered it in here. But anyway, uh, so first, what we have to do is open, uh, uh, create the uh, uh, DNAT rule. Uh, once we create the DNAT rule, then we have to create the firewall rule on the uh, on the uh, firewall in the firewall. And of course, very important is to move it up above the blocking rule. Uh, and then we create Harpin. So let's say in this example, they're trying to allow you to access port 22, which is the uh, SSH port. And uh, they're saying, okay, you can go out to the internet and then come back to this port and access the server. Uh, in my case, it will be a web server. So um, again, uh, what I had to do is go in here. Um, I actually uh, I'm behind another router right now so this is where you get the public IP if you connect it on the ETH1 directly and uh, as of this firmware which is the 2.1 real candidate 2 um, what we have here is the um, ETH0 is my incoming internet and I got confused at first because switch zero is usually uh, the LAN for all the ports, but in this setup they have LAN uh, set to switch zero that one, and this is my LAN. So as you can see, uh, um, my LAN is 192.168.2.1 and uh, forward slash 24. 
Now my server was set at 2.200. Okay, so that's my host, uh, web server and FTP server. Okay, so in this setup, again, we have the in incoming internet and the remaining ports are on switch 0 0.1. All right, so let's go to the uh, firewall section here. All right, so the first thing I had to create was uh, the web server port. So I'm gonna open this up. It's a pre-routing uh, web server, TCP protocol, IP4 enabled. Um, Again, incoming interface is ETH0. Uh, the port I'm forwarding uh, in that case was 8888. Destination was 192.168.2.200, which is the um, uh, web server. And the translation port I entered as 8888. <clears throat> if you don't enter that, we'll just do the same. Uh, then you just save that. Uh, the next thing we have to do is actually go to the firewall role and as you can see when you create roles by clicking this plus sign it's gonna end up at the very bottom of that list it's very important you move this up when you finished uh, setting it up now this is the firewall rule to allow the traffic uh, on that port so I named it I use TCP uh, IP uh, before again enabled again incoming uh, interface is uh, ETH0 this is the WAN port um, in here I uh, entered the uh, web server IP address so that will be your hosting device and uh, the port and you have to choose accept you can enable logging if you want to have uh, more control and see what's going on also you can enable the connection state I keep it as uh, everything uh, disabled because um, I want to allow um, you know all traffic so that is the firewall rule and then you have to move it up otherwise it will not pass the traffic because it's gonna hit a drop roll over here and then it's gonna block it so um, all right so this is uh, this part is done all right, the next thing we have to do is go to the net rule <clears throat> and uh, we're going to create the harpen rule. Okay, so again, we have to create the pre-routing uh, DNAT rule for web server. So I call this the DNAT harping for web server. Uh, TCP IPv4 enabled. Um, in here, I just enter the uh, subnet of my uh, local LAN. In my case, it's 2.0 slash 24. I'm forwarding port 8888, and that's being translated to the server 192.168.2.200. All right. Um, the next thing you have to create is post routing. Uh, so, as you can see, a uh, harpin masquerade rule uh, for web server so when you cl uh, click on that uh, you just give it a name TCP again IPv4 enabled uh, again uh, as a source uh, because it's coming out out of here it's uh, local LAN the one that you're using now if you have multiple different LANs you can choose a interface of that LAN that you want to allow the traffic out um, in my case, it's the switch. It's also confusing why they have this exclamation mark here when uh, this one's without. This one again is exclamation, so be careful you choose the correct one. It's zero one in that case. <coughs> then you have 192.168.2.200, that's the web server uh, host IP. Then you have a port number. Uh, you choose the masquerade. And you just save that rule. Now, if you're trying to access the uh, 8.8.8, um, for example, here I'll just show you HTTP forward slash, and then let's say public IP, I'm just gonna make it up. So 23, uh, 112, let's say 24192, for example, 8.8.8.8. 
So if that was my public IP, then if you enter that in the browser, it should allow you to go out to the internet and then come back on this port and you should be able to see uh, whatever the service you have on that specific port. So again, um, so this is how it works and you can also review these examples here. Uh, so they saying uh, not pre-routing, uh, pre this is the DNAT rule. Um, and then uh, you can uh, just read the instruction here. Then you have to uh, create the firewall rule and then you can create the harping rule and then you can just uh, either follow these steps or just use my video as a reference again I don't know what that IP is uh, for so I assume if you have a static IP that's what you would use um, it's difficult to say so then you have to create the post rule uh, and then you have that information that I mentioned before uh, the masquerade rule and that's it so that is it for this video and uh, hopefully uh, you guys uh, find this useful because I've been trying to figure this out for many uh, uh, months uh, almost two years since they released the beta of this device and uh, it was really difficult to get it to work uh, I could not let's say access the cameras from my home unfortunately you have to have uh, the harping uh, rules in place in order to access cameras from home I had to actually disable uh, Wi-Fi from my home and uh, connect uh, using port forwarding and external IP but it was very annoying I always had to disable the Wi-Fi so now I finally uh, can have the Wi-Fi enabled and access the uh, camera system thank you so much